Hi Gemini, welcome to your February reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, the cards I use, I will leave in the description box along with how to contact me for personal reading. So let's see what's going on in February for Gemini. What can we expect, okay? Let's see. Oh, we had this for Taurus initiate initiation and the Count Saint Germain and will, wisdom, and mind here. Okay, so I feel like if you set your intentions very early in February, that will help you um, make your way through February without it being too conflicting um because i feel like at the moment you don't know where you stand here you don't know which one's you are you doing the initiating are you waiting or what so um i feel like because you may have gained some wisdom um and as we in, go into aquarius season um you will feel like you know your mind is more heightened um your mental capacity um more opened and willing to learn okay and find answers um but i just feel like you don't know where you stand so if that is the case whether it be relationship work or whatever um you'll do um well if you set your intentions early in february okay let's see So you could be going through some sort of spiritual um, awakening. Um, you could be willing somebody else awake here with the word will and wisdom here. Um, you may have a power to help other people to open up to um, their divine life path here. You may have wisdom to share or receive at this time. Okay, so like I said, making a plan um, will help you and help things to go with the flow, you know, easier, make a to-do list sort of thing and stick with it. And I feel like that will help you more here. Okay. The seven of scrolls, nearly everyone has got this so far, um, intricacies and industry. So again, you know, um, maybe your relationship had an effect on, you know, your work thingy, um, your career and things like that because you may not understand that they're all connected so if you're not feeling well or you're heartbroken you know it does have this effect on your work okay so everything has its place right so i feel like again writing these to-do lists um reading instructions even um if, if you're building some sort of cabinet here will help you out so having a to-do list and writing down what you to you want to do and doing it in that order will help you out this month okay um following sort of guidelines um because i feel like you know you have this great mental power but you might start thinking um and jumping so going from one thing to another right so you might start thinking okay i have this great idea for work and then oh, I've jumped onto another idea, or I've jumped into this relationship idea, and I feel like you need to just combine all that and focus that energy so that you can get the most from it. Okay, the King of Keys, somebody is on their way to you to make an offer. Um, somebody's coming in very swiftly now, but... Um, Venus is sort of lining up for you in the beginning of February with Neptune. So you might be feeling like acting more selfless and helpful to other people and kind and things like that. So this is why I say make these plans because um, Venus can have the feminine energy very strong for you. So you may be just like willing to help people. You could just come across somebody who needs help building their tower. So you may get distracted from your own things to do right um so remember to stay on your path as well as helping others it is wonderful to help others but you don't want to get so caught up that you're helping others that you end up drained 
right? So this is why I say, you know, if you make these plans, stick to it. I, I, I feel like that's the main message here for you. Um, and then you'll know where you stand. Okay, I know that this is what I'm doing this day. I know I need to do that. And then when you're bumping into people who need your help, um, I feel like you'll be able to say, yeah, I have time to help you. I don't mind. Great. Or I'm sorry, I don't have time right now, um, but I can help you at another certain time. It's like respecting your own boundaries as well. Because like other people might be undermining your intentions when you're helping them even. So it can be that they're not even as grateful as you would think here. Look, caught in the ruins. It's like you can get stuck helping other people and then, you know, um, your career or business idea passes you by or somebody else uses your business idea because you were stuck helping somebody else. So it can feel like, you know, I'm trapped. Every time I want to take a step forward, I'm helping somebody else um, and I'm getting distracted from my own work here. So you could feel also caught in the ruins of a relationship and that's making you second guess or um, not move forwardly as you would like. And if you look at this card, this is some old ruins, right? So you could free yourself from this. It's like the Eight of Swords. You know, at first glance, you might feel like I'm stuck here, but I bet you, you know, the hinges on the gate of this picture, they'll probably rust right off. Or if they work together here, they could climb over the wall. So they could free themselves if they really put their mind to it here. Don't get stuck overthinking and not getting any work done. Get those thoughts out of your head and get them on a piece of paper. It'll help you a lot, okay? Um, people may even want to criticize you at this time saying, look, um, you was on your merry way here, you stopped to help other people and they say, look, you ruined it for me, you spoiled it, you didn't even help me. So I'm seeing like, you know, people can seem ungrateful at this time towards you as well. No matter who those people are. And you may not take that so well and that's why you end up feeling trapped, you know, that, you know, I, I can't win if I do and I can't win if I don't. Okay, Un uh, paths unknown here. So yeah, it's like you're at this crossroads and um, look again with the scrolls here, eight of scrolls it is, um, in the bag. So if you have a list or a to-do list that's saying, where shall I go next? What shall I do? Um, then you don't end up stuck doing nothing like this lady. You can see her, she's just stuck there. Um, and she's thinking and overthinking and not actually picking a path. So you could be doing this as well. You're not actually deciding to move forward. Um, something may prevent you from moving backwards. You could feel stuck in a relationship, but you can't move forward with that person and you can't move back with that person. So you're wondering, what do I do? And I'm stuck. It could be the same for a job, right? Um, this person is coming towards you, but you need to be on your own path. You need to pick a path and stick to it, right? So are you going to go with free will? Are you going to go with the wisdom? You know, the card that we had up here, card 20. Or are you going to go with the mind? I think you need to combine all three. And you do that by writing your intentions down, you know, um, getting them out of your mind, using your wisdom. And then using your free will to start walking down a path here. So, spring and autumn here. Okay, <clears throat> so, you know, in spring when everything's just beginning, we have new life forming and, you know, all the baby animals are just being born and everything's just growing. It's a beautiful time of year. Um, when the card's this way up, um, that's what it's telling us. There's this new beginning on the way, even new life here, um, because if it was autumn, it would show us this way up, right? So it's showing us this new beginning. Time to plant seeds, okay? Time to pick a path, start on your destination and let it grow. It's time for new beginnings. If it was autumn here, okay, it would be time to reap, you know, time to collect what you have um, sown. And you will get to that part. But first of all here, you know, 
we have to start with this new beginning and fresh and we are heading into springtime anyway okay so it may be that you know what you choose now um you will see the results in spring so let's see here yeah the king of scrolls as well again another king so um we see two kings here so each path will gain you some wisdom okay um you may feel like you know oh well i'm waiting for somebody to return to me on your life journey we have to learn right so we don't just sit at home and get bogged down and feel stuck still and feel stuck in you know caught in the ruins of a relationship and let it drag us down even more um you want to start making plans for your future right now this is going to best serve you okay um because it's this time of new beginning so with the new moon you could um set your intentions here this is how you'll move forward most positively don't worry about this person when will they get here how will they get here who it is none of that matters you've got to set your intentions for your future every soulmate soul family things like that we all have our own unique journey to ourselves, and we're all here to learn and look at this path and this way he seems quite pleased with himself so i feel like um, in the beginning of February, you could be feeling like, which way do I go? I'm feeling stuck because then, you know, um, what, which way shall I go? What shall I do? And I think it's just because, um, the Aquarius season is just like having all these thoughts in your mind and you just need something to focus it, right? You just need that. Okay. I need to stop thinking, put it, take action, put it down on paper set my intentions um distance myself from maybe people who are asking me for too much help and they're not even grateful in the end anyway they just end up criticizing me and start working on my own life i need to start doing for my own self here because it's not only in romantic relationships we need to set healthy boundaries we may need to set them with our parents as well or even our grown children we need to say you know look we can't you know, I can't keep doing this for you, helping you. I'm putting my own life on hold, essentially. So you really need to um, tell people with respect. Um, sorry, I can't help you today, or but I can help you this day if you'd still like. Okay. Five of Roses, seven, what did I say, the journey? Um, so Five of Roses, the Seven of Roses, and the Six of Scrolls, Sands of Time. You're not running out of time, okay, um, on this journey. You may feel like you're running out of time. Um, we get to a certain age and then we may feel like, well, the best of life has passed me by. So there's no need in me planning for this future and that, no, that's not the case there is a soulmate coming towards you there is this new life whatever happened in the past that's a chapter of your life it doesn't mean it's your whole book you know and i'm seeing like um definitely like this new beginning and this blossoming um of a relationship here and it's part of the past the life is messy look at this Look at the journey here, but it's sort of organized mess where they're unloading, they're loading, um, they're leaving, they're coming. So, you know, there's always these um, coming and going in our life. And, you know, um, I talked to this lady. Um, she's not in the same country as me. And we always say where these ships that are passing in the night because we're on different time zones but it doesn't mean we don't make time for each other it's just this is how our journey has us at the moment and we understand that's all part of the parcel and that's what i'm feeling here um endings and new beginnings are all part of the parcel this coming and going of people um and loading and taking from you but also they should be given to you right so you know nobody is promised tomorrow but you do have time okay so don't feel like well time's run out for me 
I'm feeling like this urgency and these overwhelming thoughts that then end up make me feeling stuck and trapped so that then I end up doing nothing. I see if you write down your plans, um, this life, this journey, this adventure starts to bloom for you here. And I think it's absolutely wonderful and you'll love it. Um, you may be feeling like, um, you know, thinking about childhood and days gone by here with the Five of Roses and the Sands of Time. I feel like you're reminiscing or longing for, you know, um, what you remember in your youth and how you wish you would have reacted then. Because, you know, when we're in our youth and we think, well, you know, I should have just enjoyed the garden. I was worried about looking at things and trying to perfect them. And I wish I would have just have enjoyed it more and enjoyed the people I was there with. And now look outside the window, the grass seems green there and the sun is setting. So you could be finding yourself here um, thinking of dis distant memories and longing for um, maybe even youth again. But with age comes that wisdom that we've seen up here in this card. And we have our free will. And, you know, um, and our mind, you've gained a lot of wisdom. You've gained a lot of ascension. You've gained, you've had a lot of will, you know. And I always say where there's a will, there's a way. So if you're willing to take action and really push forward um, your ideas and doing for you right now, then you, you'll achieve this new exciting adventure journey. Good luck, guys.